Another one. Like the symbols carved on the rocks. Rory. Yes. He might know what it means. He'll probably be asleep at this late hour, though. The first time I met him was in the dead of night. So who knows? We might get lucky. Looks like this is where Grandfather Edward did his work. You were probably looking for this too, Father. Something's missing. Eddie had too much respect for the old man to just break this open. Still not complete, it seems. Eddie had too much respect for the old man to just break this open. Doesn't fit like that. Doesn't fit like that. Ah. To my dear father Edward, you stopped me from ending my torment many times before. But on this occasion, I'm determined you will not. I do this, not for myself, but for my child. A child that should never have been. A child born, not from love, but from cruelty. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. For it does not deserve to be cast into this world and into this damned place. Cecilia Gordon. What does it say? The ramblings of a lunatic. He talks of a place of great power in an abandoned village. Any mention of where it is? No such luck. Just that it's where, as he charmingly puts it, his whore of a mother pushed him out into the world. He was born in this village. At the place of power. Yes, but it puts us no nearer to finding it. It does. His mother will know the location. Of course. Rosemary! Eddie already took everything he could find. Son of a... An army book. It belonged to Angus. There's a page marked. It details how to perform a caesarean section. Does that mean that Angus... Delivered Cecilia's baby. That way they could keep it out of the public eye. Horrifying. This place must be a dream for a psychiatrist. Or nightmare. Ugh, the stench. It reeks of death down there. That foul smell might lead us straight to where we need to go. You think the way to the mirror might be through that abyss? Perhaps. It's too dark to see what's down there.
I should be able to cobble together a light. Angus and Eddie. The family that slays together, stays together. Eddie is truly desperate to be a great Gordon like his grandfather. Cheers. The bloodstains on it are old and dry. Now all I need is some kind of fuse. Stand back! So this is where Eddie dumped the bits he didn't need. Look, who knows how far down these chasms go? Or how vast the caves below are. The castle may have been built on top of wherever the mirror is kept. It doesn't look like we'll get any closer to it from down there, though. I think we should get moving, unless you still want to look around some more. Mr. McKinnon. Master David. Miss Farber. If you don't mind me saying, you look like you could use some sleep. After seeing what happened in the old wing, I doubt I will ever sleep well again. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. No, sir. I do not think you do. How is Eddie faring? The young master is in bed. We've ensured he's comfortable and cannot do any further harm. I'd like to speak to him, to help us understand why he did what he did. Lady Margaret is sitting with him at the moment. I'm afraid he's in no fit state to talk. I hope you managed to sleep soon. Thank you, sir. As do I. Oh, Rory, the gardener, mentioned he wanted to speak with you. He's in the library. Thank you for letting me know. Hello, Rory. What brings you to the library in the dead of night? I don't rightly know. I woke up. Something, a feeling, made me come here. I see. I ken I wasn't a much of a help to you earlier. It is not easy for me to trust folks. From what I've seen of this family, I cannot entirely blame you. Edward's diary mentioned an old, deserted village somewhere nearby. I ken it. 
I haven't been up there in years, though. Tis a fearful place, so it is. What happened? Why was it abandoned? The folks there were all killed. All dead. Wiped out overnight. Nobody goes there anymore. But Edward did. Aye. How did the village die? It was the druids. The druids using the Black Mirror. Aye, aye, it was. They got what they wanted, drove back the Romans. Aye, that they did. But it cost them. Cost them dear. Can you take us to the village? No, son, I canna. My eyesight's not what it was, you can. And them woods are not safe with no map to guide you. I can get you across the loch when you can the path, though. The poor woman. How could Edward do this to his own mother? He was a monster, that's how. Rose? Rosemary, it's me, it, it's David. I need you to help us. The village where Edward was born. Can you point to it on this map? C can you do that? Oh, nothing. It's like she's shut down. Just a second. Try now. There! That's where the village is. <coughs> this ought to be enough for Rory to help us find the village. We'll need a boat to get across the loch. There's one at the lakeside. We know the way to the village now. Well done, laddie. You both go on ahead and ready the boat. I'll see you doon at the jetty. What? No. We can find it ourselves. It's cold and dark outside. I ken the weather, lassie. I'm nae some bairn. And I'm nae too old to walk up a hill. I get the feeling you won't take no for an answer. You say that right. And I ken what's up there mair than you both.
this isn't going to move. I'm not surprised. By the looks of it, it hasn't moved in years. It's going to take more than me and you to get this into the water. Andrew really has left on foot. I hope he finds somewhere warm soon, and unharmed. He was a fool to leave. And it won't make our lives easier if he does drag the authorities up here. You're starting to sound like a true Gordon. The keys are here. Margaret won't be happy if we use the car to push in the boat. All the more reason to do it. Do you know how to drive? You don't. There's easier ways to get around in India. Bleak place. And so quiet. Quiet? You, you mean you can't hear? As will be the fate of anyone who dares oppose this family. Hear what? The voices. Screams. I, I'm not sure. I think I can hear something in the distance. We need to keep moving. Edward must have had some sort of hideout up here. I guess it's near the place of power he wrote about in his diary. How will we know if we found it? We'll keep looking. I'm not going anywhere, laddie. We should show this to Rory. Do you know what this is? I can it. It's a symbol the old druids would have used in their rituals. Is everything all right, Rory? It's the bloody voices, laddie. I'm trying to keep them out, but they're loud and strong. You can almost feel the deadness of this place seep into you. That you can, laddie, that you can. I haven't been here in many a year. I didn't ken the place so well. Wouldn't have a clue where it would hit out. <laughs> we'll keep looking. I'm not going anywhere, laddie.
What could this mean? Whatever this symbolizes, the villagers really believed in the power of these runes. We need to break this open somehow. I tried to protect you. I didn't mean to harm my life. I didn't. It was just a bear, just a wee bear. Let him go. We need to keep moving. This handwriting, I recognize it. It's Andrew's. Andrew? The lawyer? This is his workplace. The fool. He's trying to release Edward, free his spirit from the mirror. Do you think there's also a way to free your father? Perhaps. The difference being that whatever is left of Edward, what I've seen, I'm not sure he's of this world anymore. Andrew keeps referring back to a spot nearby. It must be Edward's place of power. Edward's birth was during some kind of ritual. They thought he would have a unique connection to the Black Mirror. And Andrew thinks he might have inherited this trait from his father. Exactly. Which shows he knows nothing about what the mirror is capable of, or is beyond caring. Listen to this. Edward may have had his faults, but he was not weak like my mother, who carried her weakness to the end when she took the coward's way out. Cecilia's baby didn't die with her. It's Andrew. Oh, he played me from the beginning. There must be an entrance beneath the house that leads to the Black Mirror. This is what Andrew's looking for. Oh, the soil here has been disturbed. The missing pages from the Chronicles. They might detail the rituals Andrew is trying to complete. They're badly burned, but maybe we can...
That's as good as it gets. Let's see what we can see. Not much. The blood of three. The soul of one. What does... Christ, what is this? What's happening, David? A dream within a dream. Stay close to me. Done this together! No! He can't be allowed to return! Come back! Come back here! Andrew seems to have tried to stop my father from enacting some kind of guardian ritual. Did your father complete it? I don't know yet. Yes, when I was a boy. I... I can't believe he kept this. There's a shortcut over here. Lead the way. Gion mi mucha, cabo je am prish gabi mi rish. much more than I do. My father came here to free himself. Our family of, of the curse. But he found out that Andrew was up to something even worse, and he tried to stop him. The Black Mirror. Andrew was trying to use its power to return Edward, or whatever Edward has become, to this plane of existence. This world. The fool. He just needed to look around here to see the mirror can't be controlled, can't be trusted. So did your father complete this guardian ritual? Do you think it worked? I don't know for sure, but I think it must have. Otherwise, how could he still be helping us? I feel like he's trying to reach out to me, but I can't quite touch him. Is there any way of... Or freeing him from wherever he is now? 
I can only hope there is. We need to get Rory and get back to the castle before Andrew finds the entrance, if he hasn't already. And we need to warn the others about... old man. You could never do, never do what, what, what needs to be done. Rory! Rory! Are you hurt? Let me have a look. You know, fresh yourself, lassie. I'm fine. What did Angus mean about you being a murderer? He wasn't just talking about himself, was he? Just the ramblings of a dying man. <laughs> no more excuses. If you want our trust, then be honest with us. Aye, aye, you're right. It was a long time ago. I wasn't the man I am now. I, I had a temper on me. A drink. You and I are got mad on that. Oh, God, forgive me, I, I killed my wife and Ben. And the Gordons. They covered it up. That they did. That's why you've worked here all these years. You owed them. I'm a selfish old man. Hiding out here, feared the Gordons would turn me in. And Edward? Did you know? I kenned. I kenned what he did. But I was too big a coward to do anything. The voices you were hearing earlier, was it your wife? Her and Cecilia I. Andrew, I think he's Edward's son. What? No, no. You can be me. He's a... He's what, Rory? Cecilia's bairn. I made him give him away. I can't we should have put him down instead. You gave Cecilia's baby away? What about her husband? Oh, Edward had taken care of him a long time ago. We need to get back. Guess a hand up, would you? Help me back to my glass house. I need to show you something. Can we give you a hand? From what you told me, your father cast a guardian spell, and I cast it for you, son. Why? For to help you, to contact you, from the other side. Yet, you're, you're special, lad. I think you'll likely have the power of a hydroid. Someone with a powerful connection with the spirits. What's he doing? It's the same symbol I saw my father make before he killed himself. Shh. Give me your hand. Ouch! Don't be a wee-un. Now, drip your blood onto the symbol. <sighs> Father.
there, laddie. The link with your father will be stronger now. Thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me. You'll need all the help you can get for when you reach the mirror. You're not to go down there until your bond is completed. There's still unfinished business between you and your father. I just don't again what it is. I've been thinking about the mirror. About what it does, Rory. I think that it was responsible for what you did to your family, I mean. Thank you for your words, Les. But that doesn't change the fact that I did it. It doesn't ease the pain. It doesn't stop the guilt. There's still things you don't know about, lad. About your father and his past. But you need to find out for yourself. Do not face the mirror with doubt in your heart. Or you leave nothing of you. That's all for me, no. Nonsense. We will get you help. I can... No, I see. I'll be with my wife and parents soon. <laughs> she always told me for a gardener I was never very good at growing a beard. She were always right, my girl. Blood. We need to be careful. It's not her blood. Here, let me help you. I will be fine, thank you. Andrew, where is he? He has taken Eddie. I, I tried to stop him, but he struck me. Me. There was a madness in his eyes. I do not understand what is happening. First Eddie, and now Andrew. It's this house, the curse in our veins. It comes from whatever evil lurks below this damn place. The Black Mirror. Poppycock, our blood is not cursed. We may have had our fair share of tragedies, so does any great family. But evil can live in the hearts of men without the help of any curse. On that at least we can agree. And in one heart in particular, that of my grandfather, your dear, precious Edward. I will not hear another word from you about my husband. We don't have time for this. Look in the desk in the old wing if you will not believe us. Uh, she might know more. We need to talk to her again, without attacking her. Oh, of course. You're right. <laughs> 